I'm sure many of you saw that Donald Trump decided to pardon a bunch of war criminals. Fantastic stuff. Looks like he's not going to pardon Julian Assange or Edward Snowden for their heroic acts of journalism and transparency. But he will pardon some war criminals for murdering people, for committing a massacre against innocent people, including a nine-year-old child. He'll pardon them. For those who are unfamiliar with Blackwater, and I will call them Blackwater, they have tried to dissociate themselves from their barbarity and their war crimes by changing their name. But I'm just, I know him as Blackwater. So Eric Prince, who happens to be the brother of Betsy DeVos, who's Donald Trump's education secretary, founded this firm of war criminals for hire or mercenaries for hire. They essentially provide, that's their service. They, they go commit war crimes for the United States government. That's what they do. Um, they committed a massacre in uh, Baghdad in 2007. Their mercenaries did. And Donald Trump has decided to pardon them. So I have an article here in uh, The Guardian. I also have an Intercept article that we'll get to a little later on. I'll post both of these in the description box if you guys are interested in reading them. Lead FBI investigator in Blackwater case likens Iraq massacre to my lay. John M. Paterini says in letter to New York Times he is disgusted with the president's actions after Donald Trump's pardons. The mass shooter in Baghdad for which Donald mass shooting, excuse me, in Baghdad for which Donald Trump pardoned four American mercenaries was a massacre along the lines of my lay in Vietnam. The lead FBI investigator in the case said, pronouncing himself disgusted with the president's actions. Nicholas Slatton was convicted of first degree murder and Paul Slow, Evan Liberty and Dustin Hurd were convicted of voluntary and attempted manslaughter over the 2007 shooting, which happened in heavy traffic in Nisour Square or Nisour Square. I apologize if I butcher any of these pronunciations, you guys. 14 unarmed Iraqi civilians, among them a nine-year-old child, were killed when the mercenaries opened fire with weapons, including machine guns and grenade launchers. The four men worked for the private security firm Blackwater, owned by Eric Prince, brother of Trump's education secretary Betsy DeVos. They were included in a wave of pre-Christmas pardons announced by the, by the White House. In a letter to the New York Times published on Friday, John M. Paterini says, I was the FBI case agent who led the investigation of the Blackwater massacre in Baghdad. We originally went to Iraq thinking this shooting was some form of innocent civilians caught in the crossfire between Blackwater guards and insurgents. After only one week, we determined that this incident was not as presented by Blackwater personnel and their State Department lackeys, but it was a massacre along the lines of my lay in Vietnam. Um, for those of you who don't know the background there, my lay was a massacre that we committed in Vietnam that killed some 500 children. Um, one of the black marks on our foreign policy history, although there are quite a few black marks on this country's foreign policy history, and this is one of them. Uh, 14 innocent people killed, including a nine-year-old child, and these men who committed this massacre, who committed one of the worst crimes that you can possibly commit in this world, will walk free. They will not be punished. So again, I want to point out, you guys, in, in our society, if you have a couple grams of pot on you in an inner city, you're going to get the book thrown at you. If you sell drugs, you'll get the book thrown at you. If you commit vandalism against an oil company, you'll get the book thrown at you. Right? If you protest in a way that violates some sort of curfew or whatever the fuck, they'll throw the book at you. But if you commit a massacre, ain't gonna face any consequence for that. If you're a Wall Street executive who knowingly commits fraud out of pure rapacious intent, ruining the financial status of millions and millions of people... You're not going to get punished for it. You're going to get a bonus and told to walk away. This is our justice system. The wealthy, the elite, get to do what the fuck they want. Our government, they get to commit war crimes. They get to hire people like Eric Prince to send people to commit war crimes. Eric Prince gets to profit off of massacres, right? And then there's no consequence for that. None. We live in a disgusting world. And our country is, I, I want to really emphasize you guys, we are the bad guys. The United States government, we are the bad guys. Okay? That's not to say there aren't other bad guys. I'm not saying like all of our enemies are good, you guys. But understand, when it comes to like categorizing who re reaps the most havoc around the world, who causes the most violence, who causes the most instability... It's the United States, and it's not even remotely close. No one is even in the same zip code. We are the bad guys, and Eric Prince is a perfect, perfect, perfect example of that, you guys. Eric Prince belongs at The Hague. We celebrate him because we're bad guys. 
So anyway, I do have one other article here. I'm not going to dive into this one, but I wanted to post it in the description box because I thought it was a good piece. And if you guys are interested, I encourage you to read it. It's by Paul Dickinson, who actually sued Blackwater for this this massacre. It's titled, I sued Blackwater for the massacre of Iraqi civilians. Trump just pardoned those convicted killers. They go into some details and talk about the perspective from the victims. Um, so you guys, this is just, it's again, it's an indication of what we do on the national scale and, and how our justice system actually operates, how it treats people for various different offenses. Uh, Eric Prince, one of the worst individuals in the world, and he is basically given immunity by our so-called justice system. Once again, we are the bad guys.